In the beginning, God made one man and one woman. He joined them together in the first marriage. God blessed them. He told them to fill the earth with their descendants. From then on, God creates new people through parents, through pregnancy and birth. It is the natural way that God makes people. Through our parents, God gives us what? Our body and soul. Inside the mother, God forms the child. He gives the child life and breath. All people share what? the same human nature with one another. When God made Adam and Eve, he announced them very good. Very good means what? Four things. First, their bodies and minds were perfect. Weakness, none. Sickness, none. Death, none. Could Adam and Eve live forever? It was possible. Second, their relationship with God was perfect. Adam and Eve knew God perfectly. Their life was righteous and holy. Evil? No. Sin? No. Knew God's will? Yes. Adam and Eve had a free will. Could they obey God? Can. Could they disobey God? Can. Could they sin or not sin? Can. Three, the relationship with each other complemented perfectly. Adam and Eve accepted each other as precious gifts from God. Adam was the leader. Eve was the helper. Did they argue and argue? No. When Adam and Eve continued sinless, God gave mankind authority. Why? To rule all the world. God made all things. Why? To serve and support mankind. God also wanted mankind to work. Adam and Eve work was easy and joyful. Their burden was light.